Okay, hello. I'll just turn you down. Okay, hello everyone. So apparently COD Mobile had an update and what they added was A they added the whole new zombie mode that everyone's been waiting for. They added like this Christmassy snow thing to it. Multiplayer is a lot different. The rink matches. Uh season one is over, now we're on season two, and I just started. I am actually gonna try to do the whole season, mainly for the guns. In terms of the loadouts and all that stuff, they added a whole bunch more camos. They added a whole bunch, you know, more customization in terms of that. As you can see, they added some Neon Tiger, Jack Frost, a whole bunch of other guns are still here and around. But in case everyone's not aware, I'm just going to the store right quick. But upon signing in after the update, you get this for three days. You get this for free for three days after those three days if you haven't used it well it disappears on you and apparently this is like they're saying hey you know we updated the game thank you for playing and all that stuff i guess i don't even know a lot of these other guns are still here i just ain't interested in them anyway and in terms of the rest of it yeah only do you have these zombie challenges they also brought back hard point and they also brought back free for all and if you also go to multiplayer, which I'm about to show you all right now, they brought back Summit. The Summit map from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Uh, one second. And basically, what they also did in Battle Royale is pretty much the same thing. They updated a lot of things. I'm not sure if I'm doing Battle Royale. I mean, I'll still play it, but... I just mainly try to experiment with the new stuff and get stuff I need. Alright, in terms of the zombies, so the reason why I made this video is to show you the zombies and also show you how they work. So, here you'll see, well besides the reward things, why we get to in a second, here you have three game modes. Normal Raid, Hardcore Raid, and Survival. Survival is, actually hold on, I'll start there. Survival is pretty much how you see on most of the console games, you pretty much survive and survive and survive. Every five waves, or on a wave that is an integer or five, it basically gives you some boss zombies, maybe like hellhounds or whatever. Uh, they brought back Brutus, they brought back Avogadro, I'm not sure if I slandered that. They brought back the Inferno zombies, the fiery ones, and I think they're going to bring back more. I'm not sure if there is more, but anyway, this is the normal rate. Um, you pretty much live eight raids, this is straight zombies. After the eight raids, you basically get brought to a area, arena, whatever, and you had to fight a zombie boss. Same for hardcore raid, only instead of eight is twelve, and the zombies are much harder. Now about the reward system, if you see that I click on this and then you know click on either hardcore raid survival, you'll see that the rewards are different. Well, in terms of rewards, instead they did it in like shards or whatever, right? It's basically these little shards are basically part of a weapon. Once you get all the shards, you basically get the weapon or emote, backpack, whatever. And so far, I haven't gotten a single weapon yet. But in terms of the hardcore raid and survival stuff, you pretty much get the same thing as you do from the normal raid. What for chance of getting like the legend? I'm sorry, the uh, rare gear, legendary gear. I'm not sure what you can call that. But if you see in the top left, is obviously the uh, what's called revolver that you see in most player now with a whole new skin to it You'll see tank Dempsey from the black ops 1 game and from World at war and From like other black ops series games, but anyway, you also apparently have an axe uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work in most player, but that'd be kind of funny to see Just running around axing people on on a nuke town now I am going to try to show us the Hardcore raid, so I'm just gonna be quiet and I'm just gonna let y'all sit back and watch. Uh, one other thing, if I can try to pull it up right quick. Um, this is also the best part. In terms of the Wonder Weapon, you can also get these from like the Wonder Weapon thing. The ICR, they added that to the game for multiplayer and for zombies. And I don't have one, but I know that one of our X members, aka Sakai, has one. And it is actually pretty fun to use, especially during Search and Destroy. Uh, 
I'll let you see the uh, it's perks. Basically, launching a head, landing a headshot will launch a small rocket. Every two shots, it reserves one rocket. Launching the reserve rocket in his zombies, basically, same thing. Uh, multiplayer only increased weapon firing range. So, basically, for me, the only reason why I like this weapon is because it's pretty much accurate and it's fun to handle. It has a good fire rate and all that stuff. In terms of zombies mode, I never use in zombies, but whatever. It's pretty accurate for me, at least almost as accurate as the M4. In terms of this one, I have never used. I plan on buying it myself, but I heard it was pretty good. In terms of perks, I'll let you read that right quick. Two consecutive headshots, increase ammo capacity by one. Max capacity will stack onto damage and reload speed. And then the second perk is when focus, max capacity will be 100% recovered. Close range damage will be reduced and fire rate will increase as your ammo capacity will be reducted when the skill runs out. Before I even go on, I'll just say this. Um, that is a lot to read, and that is very tiny letters. Um, I'm sorry, Activision, but no one is going to read that. But, multiplayer, I'm guessing, with the double kill at some will listen to the clip instantly, I guess that has to be pretty good. I don't know. Like I said, I don't have the weapon, and I don't plan on actually using money to buy anything, but anyway, to the main point, uh, the multiplayer, a lot of this. It's customizable. Now, if you see, I have an M16 in my hand. Even when I come out, I still have an M16 in my hand. That's because most it has a loadout system for zombies. So basically, whatever weapon you pick off the wall, or sometimes out the mystery box, if you have it in multiplayer and you customize it, you can also customize the zombies however you want. So basically, once you get off the wall, it will have those attachments. Like for example, the M16. You can also pick what skin you want, but here's the issue, if you pick a different skin, whatever attachments you have for that weapon with that skin, it's the only one that shows, it's not like Universal System, like on um, Battle Royale. And so far, with the rest of these M16s, the only ones I actually upgraded was just these two. These two I just got anyway, so I haven't really got a chance to use them. But, uh, AK-12, basically the same thing, I'm sorry, AK-117, yeah, I'm thinking of wrong game, anyway. Basically, whatever attachments you have for these weapons, whatever you pick, whenever you pick it up in the game, it will have that camo, it will have that skin, whether it be from the wall, whether it be from the mystery box. Yep. Now, a lot of these I do have camos for. I just don't, you know, have attachment for because I just never use a gun. I mainly just, you know, play to win. I play test weapons that often. Oh, and in terms of the revolver, I just got it today, but. Yeah, I'll, oh, whoops. I shall let you guys figure that out. <clears throat> I will say this, this is pretty much a good weapon to use. And the AK-117 is pretty much a good weapon. Or the PW if you're an ammo whore. Either way, AK-117 is pretty accurate and it has a decent amount of ammo. Some of the shotguns, uh, if you can get a striker from the mystery box, you should be good. Anything else? I mean, the only other good guns like, what, the ray gun? And perks. And traps. Anyway. Time for a hardcore raid. I'm also going to say this. Hopefully we make it far. If not, fuck. I'm at least try to get far enough to where you get the boss, but oh, one thing I need to explain. Um, if you get down in zombies, uh, they have this thing called revive token. Basically, what revive token is is when you basically go down, you have a chance to basically use this revive token to get yourself back up and with your save loadout. If you don't, either one of two things will happen: you'll just respawn and you don't have a pistol. I'm sorry, yo, will just have your pistol or well you lose the game entirely, and the rest of the game will still keep going if they haven't gotten down that much. So basically, think of it like this. You're playing this team, but you're also playing for yourself. Survival of the fittest. Alright, now let's talk more play.
touch this one once.